Hello all, Kim K here, coming to another Dead by Daylight video. We have special guest, Falcon FX, and Nevermore. And we are, and we are at it again. So, uh, Jokers, let's uh, talk talk about uh, the most uh, bullshit shit that ever is uh, in Dead by Daylight right now. Falcon, you wanna go first? Cause I can talk about all day about this dumb shit. You know, like. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, it's, I hate it. It's it's. Uh, go ahead, Falcon. You can talk about it. Talk about. Okay. Uh, I uh, I think we can. Um, uh, if we do, I've killed your friend. Um, I have uh, I have uh, uh, chosen uh, um, some builds we uh, which we can. Uh, Used to uh, illustrate the uh, the behavior of the new perk, and, and uh, what is the new perk? How, how, how uh, that uh, can be abused by uh, survivor? If I may say, uh, Falcon, the viewers want to know about which perk are we talking about for the viewers? Which perk are we talking about? Well, today we're uh, talking about Medal of Man. Oh, okay. The new survivor perk from S. Williams. Yes. So, well, that is going to be interesting. I. Then um, I let uh, I let uh, Falcon uh, invite me. Then it's. Uh, it's a bit of issues, I have to join uh, them. I can set it up if it'd be easier. Yeah, dude. But the new perk is called Metal of Man. And it is S. Williams perk. I don't have S. Williams, so uh, I will pick uh, Afrojack. For Wait, it. Why are, you, why are you not on my list? Because I'm invisible. <laughs> uh, okay, I mean. There you go. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Wonder. Now, so the, so we are talking about an S. William perks, correct? Yes. Yeah. It's called Metal of Nen. Let's see. What is? The, how does it look like? It's the fist, eh? Yep. Okay. It should be the, it should be the finger because that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, it's the biggest fuck you for all the killers. After an, after getting hit three times by a killer, basic attacks the perk activates. Once activated, the next occasion that would put you into the dying state from the injured state is ignored. The next time you heal back to full health, your aura will be revealed to the killer when you are further than 60 meters from the killer. The perk will deactivate the next time you are put into the die state. Increase your chances to to be the killer's obsession. The killer can only be uh, the killer can only be obsessed with one survivor at a time. So this is the perk that we are talking about today. Yes. And I can honestly say, this is Ochido level of bullshit. <laughs> Like literally, this yeah, is beca just because uh, this perk uh, doesn't have uh, um, risks, so uh, you can uh, use it. It gives you uh, automatically the pro the protection, mm. and then you uh, you don't uh, don't get any uh, any risks. You don't. Um, uh, you you uh, don't get the the broken status or uh, um, or something else. So uh, it is something uh, which does not require skill to uh, to use. So basically, it's that is a uh, passive uh, skill, a passive perk. That yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you. Uh, it okay. doesn't require any skill to to use it. it uh, it's automatic. Uh, um, yeah. It is a passive. Passive is it uh, called then? It's you know, uh, uh, 
the other other things I took note of because um, I looked at the whole like the four perks that we that you had messaged me about before, and I was like, yeah, but you can also take um, uh, the uh, add-ons for the med kit. Yeah, it's like uh, the uh, the si the sip to date sip sip eight. Why can't I English? Anyway, there's a <laughs> there's a very angry. <laughs> there's a very rare add-on that instantly helps you let you heal one state. So and Insta there's heal. another one, yeah. And the ultra rare one is a complete heal, but that's ultra rare. But so it's whatever, right? But back to the very rare one, instantly heal one state. Because I didn't know that was in the game until I melee somebody. And after the game, I t I asked him. I was like, I hit you like four times, bro. Like how? And he goes, Oh, it's a you know the add-on. I looked at it. I'm like, this is stupid. So they literally took that add-on and made it a perk that you don't have to pay anything for. You just it just exists. Ooh, that hurts. And you can say people can say, well, you have to hit them four times, right? Well, that's not uncommon in this game because, um, you know, basically basic killer it takes two hits to down somebody, right? Yeah. So they get unhooked and then somebody heals them. Now you get hit two more times. So that second time you hit them, it's not going to die. The, ex the chase is extended even longer. It's like, it's that's fucking crazy. This is without any healing stuff whatsoever. Yeah, it did count as basic gameplay because if I look at it, it is basically anti slugging. And it is really bad for killers that need to turn. No, like uh, Raid. Raid is eternal. Uh, Legion is a tunneler, not tunneler, but that is Legion. Freddy! Well, I, Freddy! This will really hurt Freddy also. Well, actually, actually, slugging would be better if you never picked them up the first time. Like, if you hit them twice, two hits down, right? And you never picked them up. <laughs> but but it's, like, it's like, you have to have some crazy strategy where you can down everybody and not have them get picked up. Or you're not going to have fun, uh, have good, a good time. Because like it's it's like crazy like um, n nobody there is literally no counterplay to running mom with decisive strike and um, borrow time and adrenaline like that build there's no counterplay to that or dead heart pretty much yeah that yeah that's like if you start adding stuff to it like but just those four perks alone there's no counterplay to it you literally are waiting till they do the gens. And then as soon as the gens pop, they're gone. Let me put for the <laughs> let me put for the viewers the perks on that we are talking about so that they know what we are talking about. These, uh, as you guys can see, this is the perks that uh, we are talking about. Borrow time. I'm gonna keep it a little bit like this so that you guys can see it. I didn't realize the size of that, strike. I didn't realize how uh, borrowed time really worked since they reworked it. They really need to not have deep wound in the game because it's really the most pointless state in the game. It's not only that, but borrowed time uh, is dependent on your uh, terror radius also to activate. The it's like... The only one that counter it is uh, the raid. The raid is the only one that counter this. <laughs> it's, and it's uh, ri insidious. It, it's, ri it's ridiculous because, like, it's not even... It's not even a negative perk. Like, if you're in deep one, I can't kill you. It's like, <laughs> deep one nerfs the killer, and it makes me so mad because I main legion. <laughs> I already can't kill anybody. <laughs> now, when I play other killers, I can't kill anybody because everybody is running <laughs> broke borrowed time. So nobody ever dies. Yeah, borrowed time with uh, with uh, Metal of Man. And this is the <laughs> perk build uh, that we are talking about, right? Uh, Falcon for the survivors. Uh, yes, I um, I Met prepared uh, um, two uh, builds uh, which can we use to uh, test some of the possible uh, cases which uh, the killers can uh, uh, meet uh, during during the uh, during the play. Okay, and uh, which build do you want I, me to uh, use? And which build do you want uh, to use? Uh, because there are some uh, uh, some cases we must uh, investigate uh, because uh, um, devs or, uh, also uh, told that uh, the uh, 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 at the moment uh, the perk is bugged since some uh, type uh, some types of attack 
uh, doesn't uh, uh, increase the counter of a metal of man. Ah, for, example, for, for example, for uh, example, Nars uh, blink attack uh, doesn't stack uh, metal of man, but uh, uh, it will be corrected in a in a future patch. And did yeah, it sounds about right. Did this, uh, here comes the biggest question: Do you think that this perk will make Nurse unplayable against high range survivors if they use it? Um, probably uh, uh, st uh, stuck with uh, uh, the dart, uh, it can be a, a problem. Yeah, I was gonna say it kills everybody that needs to use M1 to down, and that's literally 90% of the killers. Yeah. So basically, like the, on the only ones that are excluded are like the chainsaws and the projectiles, but the projectiles are like, you know, they're projectiles, so. You're not gonna hit them every single time, and the chainsaws are, you know, hit or miss, kind of, depending on who you're playing against. So hillbilly and Leatherface and Huntress. Yeah. And well, then... also uh, the plague, but the that is a pain in the ass because, um, you know, the corrupt purge is a process. So yeah. you can you can turn that into an insta down, eh? With uh, if you uh, get two uh, two uh, add-ons that uh, increase the infection. Yeah, but even yeah, it's like uh, with, with her, just because you have to uh, like activate it at the fountains, like it's it's not like you know the huntress. You can just throw axes. You don't have to go, you know, yeah. get people sick and all that extra stuff. Yeah, this is uh, really meta changing. So Falcon, uh, what uh, perk builds do you want to use, and who else do you want uh, us to use? Uh, so I will uh, run uh, this build: uh, Metal of Man, uh, Borrowed Time, yeah. Adrenaline, and Self Care. Let me sh let me show it uh, for the people what we are talking about: Adrenaline and Self Care. That is Self Care. I don't I don't uh, use those perks at all because I am not a vermin. I'm not a uh, player. <laughs> So this is for me completely new. <laughs> okay, this is the combo that Falcon is going to use. And what do you want me to use? Uh, uh, I think that uh, Metal Man and uh, Adrenaline uh, should be uh, should be used too. But uh, as we need to show some um, some examples. Uh, uh, you should uh, uh, put the dart and uh, decisive strike. That is the build that I had earlier. Okay, I can. Do that. Because we um, uh, we need to um, to perform some tests. And, We're gonna uh, so, perform some uh, tests. So the more so the more perks uh, we use, uh, uh, more uh, easier is uh, it is to. Okay. Uh, to perform the test, and uh, uh, I think uh, both uh, of us uh, should put a, um, an instant heal uh, as um, as item. And what uh, killer do you want Nevermore to play for uh, this? I don't think it matters because they're all bad right now. I, th <laughs> I think uh, I think he he, he could use uh, anyone he likes. Non would be uh, good we, if... Uh, there are some killers uh, um, which uh, uh, w uh, which are bugged and uh, therefore uh, I don't know if, if we can if we want to um, to try some uh, I don't know maybe uh, Freddy or maybe uh, yeah but Freddy that is that is too long because of the I think if we have to pick a killer, I think it would be best that we use Legion because we can give Legion uh, save the best for last to stack to get stacks on us, so that uh, the test will be faster because he gets uh, resets on his uh, attack. Okay, uh, it's a good idea. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, the perk uh, works by uh, normal uh, attack, so. I'm also if you, gonna, if, I'm you, also if you go uh, by M1, uh, we should be okay. Uh. 
can you yeah. uh, pick a map with uh, a lot of light, uh, Nevermore? Like uh, the game or so? Okay, do I'm also Please? gonna take mag. I'm also gonna take mag grit because. <laughs> so I was <laughs> I was actually thinking about this, and I was like, well, if my attacks don't kill, right? If I can just attack you all day, why not just make a build where I just attack you all day? Yeah. It's just do like a hundred thousand attacks for no reason. Yeah, it is. It to be honest, just really bullshit because just that I seen a uh, lot of videos with survivors uh, using this build. And it is like crazy uh, from what I've seen. It is they uh, they keep dodging, they start to troll. It's it's annoying. I saw it on people that play the the hack. Uh, I saw it on people that play uh, the the spirit doctor Myers. Myers also has the problem. Especially in the early games, so and the only time that he can stop them, that is when uh, he's in uh, evil within three, and it's it's the most ridiculous thing that I ever saw. Yeah, the only the only thing that can counter it are the killers that have exposed, but it takes way too long for them to get it, and in the case of Myers, it doesn't last for long, so it's like. There except really, when, except really, when he has uh, the duck of hair. Yeah. But it's, then, like, uh, you know, like like I was saying in the last video, like, the plague doesn't need anything because you could just get... <laughs> you get it... This the crazy thing I found about found out about the plague, apparently. Um, you know, when you're sick long enough, when you get maximum sickness, you get exposed. But apparently, I've seen people get cleansed from the sickness and still be exposed. I didn't understand. But even then, but, uh, if you talk if you talk about it, that, it still takes uh, very long to yeah. Uh, happen. Yeah, because you got to get them all the way to like max level. You have to hit them like three times with her vomit or something like that. It's really uh, uh, some of the most. <laughs> We are behind you. <laughs> I can't see. There you go. This is scary. <laughs> uh, no, okay. Uh, who, who, who do you want to hit first? Afro Jack or Megan? <laughs> oh, you both have which metal of mana, right? Yeah. Well, I can I can alternate, I guess, because it make my uh, yeah. my frenzy work. So, uh, Peril frenzy uh, does not uh, start. Uh, um, oh, right. uh, uh, talking. It's okay. He can save the best for last, uh, so long that he can uh, uh, increase his uh, stack so that he can uh, hit faster. Then it is okay. Let me. Uh, you up. It's like, oh wait, you can hit each other. So like you don't have to waste your med kit. Oh yeah. <laughs> see, see people, I don't play survivor. <laughs> I don't. But if I ever get 100, uh, 100 subscribers, I will play survivor for an uh, entire <laughs> month with never. <laughs> and Vulcan. <laughs> we, we, e we will even make a meme build called the Afrojack build. <laughs> That's interesting though. So when I'm when I'm in Fervor Frenzy, it doesn't stack. I guess because this doesn't count as this doesn't count as an actual M1. Yeah. But you still get stacks on uh, Save the Best for Last, eh? Yep. How many stacks you got? I have two. Falcons the obsession, so I'm trying not to hit it. <laughs> <laughs> you hear me, Falcons? That, uh... Oh, true, true. So, so don't... Uh, uh, don't hit me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but when I hit you with that, you get a stack on your mom, right? Metal man. Yeah. Uh, I'm uh, one uh, hit away from uh, having Metal Man activated. Yeah, see, so then it, it would have to, because I only hit you... 
Uh, now we can uh, already uh, test the case, I think. Uh, if you uh, down him uh, uh, again, now he got uh, two stacks of Metal Man. So if I use instant heal on him, uh, you have to hit him three times to down him uh, now. That's stupid. <laughs> and uh, he also, uh, he also uh, has the dart, so uh, in theory he could uh, um, dodge one hit. So uh, those would be four hits to down him. Yeah, that's that's pretty dumb. Yeah. I'm I'm so scrap. <laughs> oh my god! I got a higher survival rate in uh, Friday the Thirteenth than in this game. <laughs> yeah, but that's uh, that's that's kind of a sorry. It's okay. <laughs> I like it, kinky. <laughs> Uh, that how does it activate? Why are you running? Why are you running? <laughs> Why are you running? Why are you running? But it's like, you know, this, this is crazy. I hate that Deep One doesn't do anything. Yeah. It's really an, uh, a toxic uh, perk. If, especially like, even even now, right? Like, if I go back in Frenzy and I'm stabbing you, it doesn't do anything. So, like, if you had, um, if you had borrowed time and I'm still playing Legion, it still doesn't do anything. <laughs> That's the only good thing. I just stabbed you like nine times and you ain't even full health. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me heal up. Let me heal up. Like that's that's crazy. Yeah. Oh yeah, power time me. Right. And if I uh it's like if if I'm hit if I'm hitting Falcon, right? Yeah. Does that like like how much does that add to your stacks? It's just one for every hit, right? Yeah. Yeah, this it's ridiculous. It's it's the thing is for for us if we do it we are not so good as a survivor. It's something that I can easily admit. But we are uh, little. But if this is done by someone that actually plays survivor non-stop, this is, this perk is really toxic. Let me uh, help him up. Oh man, I'm so, I'm so dog shit. <laughs> like we are, this, this is why we're, we're like the worst when it comes to demonstrating anything on survival. Um, <laughs> now I want, uh, I want to do, to do another test, uh, uh, which uh, is uh, um, self care abuse. If, um, uh, if you have three, uh, three token and uh, you heal at uh, ninety-nine percent. Uh, you can uh, uh, abuse the metal man perk uh, in uh, in this way. I um, so I'm uh, uh, I have the perk activated now. Okay. Okay. I here to 99 percent. Yeah. I'm losing a lot of blood out of my ass. <laughs> blood is coming out of my ass literally. <laughs> I'm gonna imitate Samuel Jackson now. What? What are these? Do what are these motherfucking killers doing on my motherfucking map? <laughs> Punk ass motherfuckers! <laughs> I'm bleeding out of my motherfucking ass. Whoa! What the fuck? 
That's gas? <laughs> That's fucking dumb, man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you understand that this is bullshit? But... <laughs> it is. It is. Uh, I can this watch is, this. This is uh, 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 incredible, crazy, crazy. Yeah, and That's fucking dumb, man. <laughs> it's really. I mean, like, yo, how does, how does that make any so damage? So we have the user at uh, 99% with Metal Man. So this is uh, another uh, another exploit. Yeah, it is. It definitely is. It is uh, one of those perks that uh, really uh, can annoy the hell out of every killer. And it is already so hard for killers. You already got, uh, I like I said in my last video about uh, the rage quit meta where uh, survivors disconnect. But this is this is even more uh, worse. This brings, uh, this is like uh, old uh, the design strike. This is, I'd rather have old design strike back because at least you can dribble people. You can't do anything now. Yeah. Because uh, let's say you would uh, you would hook me, for example, you hook me, air shots, and uh, focus taking off with uh, well, not hook me, but uh, let's say I would be hooked. I would be, I would be hit two times. And then. Punk ass motherfucker! <laughs> ah. Come on, hit me! Hit me, punk! So, you get uh, uh, to use the pair to, uh, over one time, so it is not uh, once per match. Yeah, you can pick me up. It's like that. That's still crazy, because it's like. All right, so if that happened in a real game, you can pick I would have lost that. I would have lost that. Oh me! Yeah. Pick me up. Let me pick him up. Let him pick me up, uh, Falcon. <laughs> He's like, no, I'm going to kill you. Okay, got me. <laughs> yeah, I think it's the lap time. Oh, I missed uh, the charge strike. <laughs> <laughs> but it is just an example. Just uh, dribble me. Just dribble me. Like I'm almost, I haven't had to do it in so long, I almost forgot what the button was. Yeah, but it's if I had that off, then you would really be pissed as a uh, killer. <laughs> right? Yeah. It's it's like I said, I'm... Like I said, I don't uh, know how, uh, how most of these perks work. I only know how to counter them, not play, uh, play against yeah, so them, but not playing with them. <laughs> so like, in, in that situation, right? If I'm, because I usually personally don't play uh, use uh, make your choice. So yeah. no, knowing that you may or may not have metal of man, I want you to die anyway, right? Yeah. So um, wait, am I hooking you? <laughs> I put the sound off so I can. Uh... So I could um, so I would uh, I would chase you because you just got unhooked, but now you have borrowed time. So I have to hit you like 18 times, and if I do catch you, you have decisive strike, so you just gotta wait, I have to chase you again. Like, that's a lot of time. Yeah, that is really bullshit. It is... It's one of those... Uh, how do you say it? It's one of those uh, perks that should not have been made. Or put some more... Just... Uh, it, it... This idea was, was a big mistake. Uh... Yeah, I agree. It is a really big mistake. It is... Uh, like uh, I don't, I don't see the point. Oh, that was of, a... Yeah, bits went down. <laughs> but it is, it's, it's like it's literally. Uh, how do I, how do I say this? This is really an, uh, a big uh, that daylight disease. This perk. Like how many damn times? There you go. <laughs> because if you think about it, you got that hard. That is already a second chance. You get uh, unbreakable. That's a second chance. You got uh, no mighty. That is also a second chance. 
You yeah, I was go. gonna say you can't even slug because they might have no miter. They're standing up now, like yeah, no, yeah but no miter. <laughs> you they will always be wounded, eh? Mm -hmm. That's yeah, the, I believe so. Yeah, that's the one you can't heal, right? You can't heal. Correct. Yeah, but uh, no matter is a completely different animal altogether, completely different beast. But if you if you think about it, the only killers that uh, can uh, basically counter this are ones uh, that have insta downs. Those are the only killers that can do it, like uh, Letterface and Hillbilly. But and you have to, and you have to do, you have to do all of that early because once, uh, once the, once that final gem pops, you're not catching anybody. <laughs> Correct. Then you don't catch anyone because they will have adrenaline. It will activate and boom, everything is ruined. Full heal, 150% speed. Great, good job. Pretty good job Thank so far. Then they have all this other unkillable stuff that you can't kill them anyway. So if you even do catch them, you can't kill them, so it doesn't yeah. matter. And it's really bad <laughs> for the non mobile killers. Oh yeah, if you're playing <laughs> playing like you're playing nurse, you know, and your blink saying on point, you lost. Yeah. Because I think it will hurt the nurse a lot if once they fix those perks on uh, Metal of Man. Uh, then uh, nurse, uh, this will, this is really bad for nurse. I can see, I can see a lot of people, because like I think that's crazy. If you frenzy, if I'm in frenzy and I hit you, it doesn't um, it doesn't count for your stacks, even yeah. though it's a it's an M1 attack and it's not like a power. Yeah. But I guess I don't know. I don't know. Their their logic is all over the place. Like I uh, guess this. Technically, is a power because it's a different like mode or whatever. Yeah, but if if I have to be honest, because we are talking about Legion, but in at this point, Legion doesn't uh, count anymore at all. Because <laughs> it doesn't. That I'm just being honest. I'm not insulting your killer or anything. But oh, I insult my killer all the time. It's fine. But uh, <laughs> but Legion doesn't count anymore because we don't we. Does, it's not it's not uh, part of the problem now because the ones that we have to talk about are the top killers hillbilly and uh, nurse because this is big and uh, hunters these are the killers that we have to talk about now because they are in the top they are the top rated killers and if this build would have been uh, used in high rank and that is nurse territory. That's the place where nurse is going to be played. It will make nurse unplayable because nurse is a basic hit machine. She has to hook, down, hook, down, hook, down. That is her playstyle. But if uh, but if they have uh, that hard metal of man and uh, the size of strike and power of time for example, or adrenaline, then the nurse is basically countered really hard. Even though she counters the survivor's playstyle, the, the survivors can now counter the entire nurse's her kit, her abilities, her playstyle. And that is what uh, hurts, because if I'm, if I have to predict uh, shit, then Hillbilly will be the only one that is actually playable in the high ranks. If they actually keep this uh, perk uh, build, this perk meta, what do you think for Oaken? Uh, it will be very annoying uh, in my opinion and um, uh, just imagine for uh, for weak killers like Freddy if you have uh, adrenaline uh, and uh, this perk it simply means a free escape yeah, but it's like because, I said. Uh, because uh, uh, even if you are in injured, you uh, get adrenaline, so uh, you uh, you, uh, you wake is, up. instantly uh, heal. You uh, you get uh, uh, you uh, wake up. Uh, true. Yep. So uh, Freddy has to um, uh, to uh, pull uh, in, uh, you in dream 
uh, another uh, another time and uh, so he uh, Freddy hits you uh, then uh, he tries to down you but you have metal man so you uh, so you get an, another uh, so so you have uh, to get it uh, three times to go down in the, the uh, end game and so basically this means that you get a free escape because uh, Freddy does doesn't doesn't have the enough time to uh, to, uh, to catch you it's impossible time is uh, really uh, is really important for Freddy but even if you yeah. even if you run like remember me you still don't have enough yeah. time to anybody before but the gates open. But, it has, but the thing is, we have to look at the top killers, because if the top killers like Hillbilly, Nurse, Huntress, if these uh, killers have problems taking the survivors down, that is a good estimate how much more worse it would be for killers like Freddy and the Legion. Yeah. That is it's, a, it's, a, it's a big nerf. If they do, if your killer needs the M1 to down anybody, you just got nerfed. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Just look at uh, Doctor. Do for Doctor, this is also really a bad thing because Doctor, he is a tracker. He uh, has to track, and if he yes, can in, uh, yes, uh, ob obviously because uh, uh, Doctor uh, can't uh, attack in uh, therapy uh, mode. So, as he uh, because he is a M M1 killer. He can't do anything against uh, Metal Man. Yeah, especially he he's like I said, he is really good at finding survivors. That is his job. He's a, he's a fi he's a finder, and and he has no mobility, zero mobility. <laughs> he, no, he is, uh, no mobility. Sadly, I I think in Tier Three Madness he would be able to counter uh, some of these perks. But even then, it is uh, even then it will be a, lo a lose for him because you have this is they are basically forcing killers right now to go back into the into the camp meta. Yeah, because like I don't want you, I don't want you off of the hook. Like all that work, nope, you're not coming off that hook. Yeah, because <laughs> I I'm gonna say immediately as soon as I see one of these motherfuckers with this. Uh, dodge one of my attacks with Metal Man because of the effect that you see, the right effect. Why would why would why would I uh, let him why why would I let him go uh, after I did so much work uh, getting him down? Because I don't see a point then. Because I I might as well start uh, camp to hook then, or I will just build some kind of basement build and put him in the basement. Because I'm not, I'm not gonna go. Uh, I'm not gonna go through that shit again to get to take him down. And I think like they missed the point. Like you know, when I'm when I'm playing this game, like I want it to be fun. Like I want to have chases, but I want it to pay off. Like I don't want to. Yeah. They they missed the they missed the point. Like I don't want to camp, but if you make it so that I have to, then that's what I'm going to do because I have to win. Yeah, because it's, it's crazy. They, they are oh, uh, they are also, uh, also, um, w uh, we can, uh, we could have a problem. Uh, um, even if you, uh, if you want to do a basement uh, build, uh, mm -hmm. think, think about it. Uh, you can also do a body block abuse with uh, this perk. Yep. yep. Because, uh, because you can, um, if you have a metal man activated. You can uh, uh, withstand uh, uh, three hits uh, instead of, of two to um, to body block your uh, your friend. Yeah, and it is not it's not only that, but uh, so in, so imagine a, a four man uh, survive with a friend oh with four metal men. Yeah. They they so you. It it would be a nightmare, a nightmare, uh, even a, a basement build because all uh, all four uh, will try to body block you, and if uh, even a single survivor uh, can uh, withstand uh, three hits, 
it uh, um, it means that uh, you uh, you may not be able to um, hook the the survivor. Uh, you are uh, uh, you, you have just uh, downed. Yeah, that that is true. It is it's one of those uh, really uh, how do you say uh, bullshit moments. And imagine if you and imagine if you are playing against like four Ochitos. <laughs> for Ochito like people because that is how that is how you have to look at it because you have guys like Ochito yeah, who like the bullier stuff so then imagine thi this perk in the hands of people like that how many killers who rage quit it's like you know and I got and I looked at that um that build with the cypher strike and stuff and I thought about any if, color. Uh, if we if we uh, restart the the match, uh, I think we can show this uh, body block abuse. Oh sure. Let me, let me go. I'm just leave match. I'm gonna go back to lobby. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, I think uh, it would be um, int interesting to uh, to see how uh, you can body block abuse with uh, this perk. So I gonna be hooked, and you gonna body block? <laughs> uh, yes, uh, never more. Um, uh, Since I help, served uh, as a survivor, I need to get the Metal Man activated. Then uh, I see, uh, I I show you uh, how to uh, use Metal Man to withstand uh, three hits instead of one, instead of uh, instead of two, uh, to uh, body block uh, you and uh, and show that you may. Uh, not be able to um, hook the survivor. Okay, I'm uh, I'm really curious about it now. I'm just gonna play. I'm just gonna pick nurse this time because I'm pretty sure we've already agreed. Let, the let's... Chain, chainsaws are just gonna be good anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, the chainsaw is going to be the to go to uh, uh, style for uh, countering this. And that is the only thing that I will say. Because, but the problem is, uh, Bubba, uh, Leatherface, he is not fireable at uh, rank one at all. So at rank one, there is only one chainsaw, and that is Hillbilly. Definitely, and uh, I think this uh, will make uh, rank one even more boring uh, than before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, because yeah, it's gonna be hillbilly and like, you know, the the Metal of Man army. Yeah. And even then, hillbilly ha hillbilly is <coughs> is still counterable because he still has the, the same problems as other M1 killers. <laughs> so it, so it will be even easier for rank he, one. Yeah, uh, no, hillbilly is a uh, uh, paper. Yeah, uh, I I did a match uh, some days ago in uh, which uh, a very good uh, survivor uh, looped uh, me with uh, with Billy for uh, uh, I think uh, uh, three or four minutes, or <laughs> something. Uh, yeah, it's like and, a set. Uh, um, well, yeah. you know that. That's like where I have a problem with this game, because it's like, uh, it's like okay, bias aside, right? If you put looping, you say if you're really good at this game, you can loop for a long time, right? Yep. Um, that's that's a long time. There's nothing I can do to stop them from, especially in some of these maps and spots. I can't do anything but leave them alone, or yep. I'm gonna waste time. But now on top of that, you have this stuff where I can't kill them if I catch them anyway. <laughs> it's not. It's not only that never more. It is also uh, with uh, the following problems. If you if you look at it from a behavior is really behind in understanding the meta. Oh, we have to restart because Falcon uh, is I, not in. I think uh, I think the game crashed. Yeah, as, as always. <laughs> yeah. now, 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 uh, now we know that it also crashed in uh, Kill Your Friend. Yeah. Oh, not only in normal matches. Great, okay. wonderful. <laughs> well, Pretty good yeah, job so uh, far. Pretty good job so far. 
Wonderful. Ja, uh... <laughs> yeah, dat is ook great, really. Uh, good job, Matthew Code. Good job, Matthew Code. You and your team are awesome. Really, you guys are the best developers in the entire world. I just want to say right now uh, on Twitter, I resorted to instead of directly um, voicing why I'm upset about the game, mm-hmm. I just put it as nicely and as sarcastically as possible to see if I get more likes and retweets that way. And how did that go? It, it's gone from uh, getting pr- completely ignored by every single person. I got like two likes and retweets last night, so it's it's a better strategy. Hmm. <laughs> that is good to hear. I was literally like, what did, what did I say? I was literally like, oh, I love how we have these undying bills now, and I already can't chase really good loopers, and you know, I play Legion, so I can't kill anybody anyway, but I really love the direction in this game is going. I love every time I go into a match, three people disconnect. I love it, and I hope the game continues to go in this devel- in this direction. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I missed my... De- oh, I missed my disaster strike. This is unfair. I'm gonna quit the game. <laughs> oh, my best yeah. friend has uh, been killed early in the, st- in the start of the game, and he's getting married. I'm gonna leave. Thank you, killer. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, I love this community and I hope we continue to grow at this pace because it's just so much fun being here. Yeah. Or, uh, oh, this is the best one of all. Listen carefully. I get, I get uh, dumped by the killer right from the start. I'm gonna leave the game, but better yet, I'm gonna wait till the game is over so I can tell the killer that he sucks a dick. <laughs> Uh, that he should learn how to play and not learn how to uh, take people down immediately because I want to have fun. <laughs> oh man, yeah, that that those kinds of things you get. It's it's like it's like <laughs> it's like uh, literally the diarrhea of the community is getting is coming out of uh, the woodwork. Uh huh. Like literally, it's pure diarrhea. And I'm used to seeing stupid shit, but seriously, you can a person can only take so much stupid shit. <laughs> For real, man. This is this is really some kind of shit orgy or something. What they are doing now? Oh man! I didn't, oh, I thought I didn't change the map, but I'm just in like <laughs> the dark part. They need to fix the lighting, man. I was so confused. Yeah, but it is more just like this. Uh, the, this new perk is literally uh, brings a new term to the, to the, uh, brings a new meaning to the term getting shit on. We can go upstairs right here. Yeah, but we have to, uh, we have to do the basement, right? We we don't necessarily have to. We can oh. use any hook. Oh yeah, true. That's true. Yeah, even like right here, because there's a doorway right in front of this hook, so... Yeah. Or better yet, we can use uh, that uh, little part where they... uh, The little jigsaw part with uh, all the loops. But it is... Yeah, it is... It's it's literally big bullshit, big diarrhea. Okay, there's a... We can do it here too, because there's a doorway. Yeah. Because we can just stand in front of that. But it's... Wow, we have a nurse. Oh my god, yeah. We got a fucking nurse. We're gonna get <laughs> raped. Like, literally, we're gonna right, get raped. Right, uh, blink attack me. Let's see if we gain token. I'll see if I'm that good. I'm gonna mess it up. Wow, how the hell? <laughs> okay, wait a minute. This a... This, this, this motherfucker hit so my bitch. I, I didn't gain the token because uh, blink attack is bugged at, uh, at the moment. Let me uh, help my bitch up. <laughs> yes, we. Uh, I need uh, uh, two tokens. So uh, he uh, fully heal me. Then uh, uh, never more. It's me to uh, to get two token. No worry, man, you are being saved by Afrojack. <laughs> the most badass motherfucker in Dead by Daylight. I'm gonna punk, I'm gonna punk those motherfucking killers in the motherfucking faces. 
Because I'm the shaft of uh, Dead by Daylight. Okay, so I'm gonna get down. Now, uh, heal me. Okay. Then, uh, um, never more uh, dance you, and uh, I will show what uh, I can do to uh, body block abuse this, uh, this perk. Okay, that is going to be interesting. Science! I love experiments. I, yeah, I, need, to be, I need to be fully healed. Yeah, right. great. Okay. So we're gonna go to a nurse. To, we're gonna use this... Wait, come uh, this way. Come this way. There's a doorway right here. Yeah, but th I thought we were gonna use uh, that other location. Where uh, all those... where you can block... At uh, we, uh, yes, uh, we uh, should uh, be at some distance from uh, from one hook. Yeah, so... so I, like this. In order to show what uh, what can um, what this perk can use it uh, to. Here is Here a good is. area. Look, if you uh, followed me, I think. Yeah, here. Look, if we ignore this hook that is next to it, uh, then you get there a hook in that little room there. There. I think that is a good area to uh, start. Uh, to start uh, the experiment. What do you think? Okay. Are you, are you mean on the steps? Yeah, it after, should be okay. Um. Yeah, because this uh, this is the type of area that you will have uh, mostly uh, where you mostly have the hook. Because a lot of the naps have areas like that where they can block you a lot. So just down, just down my uh, sorry ass. <laughs> come on, or just come, come on, wait. you motherfucker! Come on, wait, come stand, come stand right here. I want to make sure we're in a place. Down where in, you're... down no. in. See, there you go. All right, execute me. <laughs> execute. And here's a, a nice hook here. Yeah, but that one we're gonna ignore, ignore, right? Now try to hook him. Okay. Okay, try to hook my punk ass. Oh. Fuck. Why are you not dead? Hit me. Yo, that's why did that take so long? Really long. And I forget. Yeah. Okay, as you've seen, uh, only one su su uh, survivor can body block uh, a took and uh, free his friend. Yeah, that's just dumb. It's really <laughs> dumb. <laughs> Imagine a four man survive with a friend uh, with uh, this build. It uh, just no. Um, Let me just say uh, you will literally become mentally tired. You would, Bro, I would have, I would have turned my whole computer off if I saw that shit in the game. What I would play, <laughs> I would play something else. I would like, that's wild. I would literally stop playing and uh, play something else because this is too much. Uh, this would be too much for me. I'm like, yo, am I playing? Uh, Le am I playing Legion? I hit you four times. You're still standing. Like what? <laughs> yeah, and imagine if uh, you have you have you got that adrenaline. I have no adrenaline at all. Okay. So I'm using never, the build that you mind. said. I'm using the build that you said. I and uh, um, we should do the three generators, but uh, I think that the then it would be too the long. The story is clear. Uh, yeah, it is really clear because imagine if you have to go. Imagine if this hook was gone that uh, Nevermo wanted to put me on, and he would have to go right here. You would have had enough time to heal yourself after each hit, and I would never uh, reach uh, this uh, hook. You would never re reach that hook at all. It's so crazy. This, this, this is really a crazy perk. Yes, because uh, in uh, in principle you have uh, um, you can withstand uh, three hits without uh, any stunt heal, and four hits with uh, if you have any stunt heal. So, uh, uh, 
a four man survival defend with uh, this build uh, yeah. uh, can, can be a, a real problem. Yeah, glad that Ochido is banned, or else he would really hit. Uh, or else so hit. basically, uh, every every weak killer is um, is fucked up. Yeah. Do these cameras uh, do these cameras actually work? I don't know. <laughs> I just noticed. Let me see. I'm gonna stand. I'm gonna stand here. Do you see me? Nope. Nope. Then that would have been so good. All right, but anyway, we were talking about something else. Yeah, <laughs> it's, okay. it's okay. Random shit, people. We love it. We love random shit. Like but I've yeah. never come. I've never actually looked in this room, so I didn't know there was TV monitors here. I'm like, oh, this is for the cameras. Oh yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. It's so cool. Still cool. <laughs> but yeah, it is. But yeah, it is really, really. Uh, it's gonna be. Uh, a rough uh, few months with this perk and I don't see that it is going to be nerfed anytime soon because this one is really for anti-slugging and then like with like with the nurse even if I do hit you and you like and you meddle a man you're probably gone after that because I'm stunned and I I, lo I just lost vision and not only that imagine uh, having this when you are in the cornfields yeah good luck good luck nurse players on the cornfield <laughs> so true, so true, sadly. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt your pride as a killer and everything. Because it's like you know, every time they add some, every time they add something, every time they update it, it's just like I always go like, why do I still play this game? It never fails because it's always like, okay, like the last patch happened, and I was like, I'm okay with this new decisive strike, whatever. I'm okay, and then. Not even a month later, here's a new survivor with a new broken ass perk, guys. Yeah, <laughs> but it's not it's not uh, anymore one of those perks that uh, can uh, win you in game anymore. <laughs> that is the good thing about yeah. the new decisive strike. It is not a perk that uh, can make you win the game if you are yeah. the last one left and you are uh, next to the heads. Yeah, but I mean, like, just overall, like, uh, the, the new rank system is dumb, but I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna deal with it. But then, like, this comes out, and I'm like, like, how much do you want me to try to deal with, like... <laughs> Personally, uh, to, to be honest, I'm, I just play for the blood points, so... I don't yeah, even, I don't, I don't even want to rank up anymore, it's, it's too much stress, uh, you get angry only, and, uh... And those kinds of things, and they will report you for anything, like, uh, Oh, you stand too close to me, you're a camper, I'm gonna <laughs> report you. You're on the map when I'm on the hook, you're a camper. Yeah. But, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, obviously, uh, camping uh, uh, has become uh, uh, necessary. Uh, now, uh, you can't win if you, can't, if you don't uh, camp on some survivors. Well, yeah. we don't, because I don't go camping. Uh, uh, generators uh, uh, pop up uh, uh, very, very quickly. Uh, so, uh, if you... Uh, the time uh, you uh, waste to chase uh, only one survivor, uh, now you typically get uh, uh, two to three generators done. Uh, because uh, in uh, uh, two minutes uh, they, uh, they do, um, uh, his friends do, uh, can do two to three generators. And then uh, the time to uh, chase the, your second uh, survivor, they yep. uh, activate the exit gates. So and that is the bad for, case of the scenario, right? So, so for, uh, for weak killers, uh, we, we have a serious problem, uh, yeah. Yeah, for the weaker killers, like yeah. uh, the, the, the nurse, I mean, uh, like uh, <laughs> the doctor and Legion, well, Legion and, uh, Legion and uh, Freddy will suffer the most. Yes, definitely. And, and then you will poor, have to raid. Poor Freddy, poor Freddy. They yeah. have Raid. Raid will really have a hard time. Because the Fives can use flashlights. So Raid will never be able to use his power. 
it's just it's just gonna be really annoying and I would just like to have an enjoyable experience when I play the game. <laughs> It was, it was enjoyable when uh, just the release of the plague, but now that they added S. Williams, that asshole uh, brought a completely new amount of perks with him that actually made, made the game harder for us. Because the survival method never have, has changed. Never. It has always been the same for a long time. And it's... Yeah, rem yeah. I remember, remember what I was saying? Like, it won't, you won't like the whole healing thing won't matter because of plague mm -hmm. and the games that i played that's been really true but now it doesn't matter because they don't even have to take healing to begin with because you can't kill them <laughs> <laughs> and now the high-end uh, add-ons will become even more important but the thing is the high-end add-ons they drop rarely so you will never be able to always play at full power you will never be able to play at your best. So I think they have to change the add-on system. It's like I'm I'm really just waiting until they go, Alright, we got a new killer and a new patch, and with this patch we're gonna make the killer an AI, so only the AI gets to be the killer. Because <laughs> that's what I feel like at this point. I'm just here to just stand on the map for three minutes I and feel, then the survivors win. I feel like a rodeo clown sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, people, people think that I have a lot of fun uh, playing uh, when I when they see that uh, see my uh, videos and such. They think that I have a lot of fun, but in the meantime, I'm like frustrated as hell <laughs> because they because watching a video and being in the game is so much different. <laughs> and I, I mean, if I was in the game right now and I would play against the virus with this perk. I would be cursing like hell. I would be that, cursing so hard. That was literally my last stream, and my friends that watched me are like, "Like, is, are you okay? Because you seem pretty mad." I'm like, "No, I'm not mad. I just, I'm mad. Okay, I can't stand it, and I don't. You, you just <laughs> so I don't play fun. killer on stream. Yeah, you this is why I don't fun. play killer. I don't play killer on stream because yeah. it's not." <laughs> you, lit you literally get fucked in the ass. Uh, that, is, that is what they do with my behavior. I, I think Matthew Coat is, uh, is standing in front of this big screen and he's saying, Okay, okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, what are we going to do today to make it hard for the players to play killer? <laughs> like, and like, they, they, I don't think they understand. Like, no, I don't. Nobody wants the game to be us getting killing everybody every game. We just want to matter. That I wanted to matter that I'm on the map. That is what the survivors think. Eh? That is what the survivors say. Yeah, but it's like, the, like, I just wanted to. I would just want it to matter. When you see me, holy shit, the killer's coming. I don't want when I, when you're running for me. I want you to be running for your life. I don't want you to be playing with me because you know I'm not going to catch you. I want you to be like, well, if I mess up, he's going to kill me. But you, I, none, none of that is here. You want the same feeling as you had in Resident Evil 2. Exactly. With, uh, when fucking, with the Undertaker. When, when, <laughs> when Mr. X is chasing you, yeah. you can stop him, but you're probably not, so you're going to haul ass because, and it's very stressful. <laughs> and that's what made it fun. That's why I keep playing that game because it's stressful and it's scary. Yeah, but, and he matters. He matters. Yeah. When I'm playing Survivor, I really don't care because I'm main killer, so I know they can't do anything to me. <laughs> because you don't feel the fear. There is no fear. And with the ex, you feel the fear because you know if he hits you, you are fucked. <laughs> And I have the best games when I'm the best games I've ever had in this game is when I'm playing Nurse. Of and I'm playing Nurse and on I'm on this map. Yeah, but that is and everyone. That, those are the those are the best games I ever have. There's no salt in the survivor lobby. They're just like, oh my god, that was so intense. Yeah. They were scared. Why can't that should be the game every time? That would be so much fun. Yeah, but the problem is it is only limited to this beautiful creature here, this beautiful creature, <laughs> this beautiful masterpiece of what a killer should be, this beautiful woman, the nurse, because she represents everything what a killer should be.
Like you know, when we when if if their inspiration for these killers are from like slasher movies, do you have to take what made them good in slasher movies? Like you didn't see Jason and go, I'm a I'm a loop this guy. Hell no, <laughs> you're gonna run or you're gonna die. Like yeah, like yeah. you didn't see uh uh. I can't remember her name right now from the Halloween movies. You didn't see her running around Lori? the circle like... Lori? <laughs> yeah, you didn't see Lori running around the circles like, oh, I'm going to jump over this pile to get away from Myers. I'm going to shine this flashlight on my tea bag while I heal yeah. myself. Yeah. Why did they kill you? So you didn't do none of that. Come on, come on Michael. Try and get me. <laughs> I, will be, I will be waiting here fingering myself while you try and get me. <laughs> like, it's, it's crazy. Like, yeah. a lot of... The, uh, if, in my opinion, a lot of this game needs a redesign. Like, if you want to have a deep wound in the game, deep wound should only exist for when you come off a hook. Just not with a perk or anything. Just when you come off a hook, you have deep wound. Because yeah. that's the only d actual deep wound in the game. You have a fucking hole in your chest. How are you running around at full speed? Yeah. It's... But that's just me. I think if you get hooked, you should not be able to heal yourself back all the way to full. Yeah. Especially but... not with a perk like this. Especially yeah, with a perk like this, this should not have been made. This should have not have been added. It's stupid. It's I don't even think that it, that they thought about it. I just think that they thought by themselves. Come on, we're gonna add a perk into the game and fuck all those killers in the ass with it. <laughs> because literally, I feel fucked in the ass if I would if I would uh, play against a full survival team with Metal Man. That would explain why you see a lot of Ash Williams being played also, because they are testing out a perk. It's, it's, a lot of, it's a lot of nonsense. I just want them to fix it so I can go back to enjoying it. I think uh, that now uh, we, uh, we should uh, uh, see how uh, we as killers uh, um, can uh, counter this. Well, uh, and maybe um, if you want, uh, we uh, can uh, f propose some uh, uh, some nerfs for uh, this perk, because uh, um, uh, it can't uh, it, it, it isn't possible that uh, uh, such perk doesn't uh, have any disadvantage, uh, because uh, as as we all see, uh, you get a uh, Im Im immunity, basically, but you don't don't have any uh, uh, any downside. Any uh, th there is no uh, um, it is a, a, uh, an unbalanced perk, uh, in my opinion. Yeah, uh, it is. It is. And uh, at minimum, uh, um, I would propose to uh, if you uh, use it. Uh, um, maybe uh, cause uh, uh, exhaustion for example uh, in order to um, uh, to not stack uh, uh, it with the dard for example of add broken because, uh, because the dard and metal man uh, is uh, it's an, an over a too overpowered combo in my opinion of, or at the uh, broken status effect um Broken effect uh, can be maybe another idea, or uh, or reduced movement speed. Personally, I think that first of all, you should you should be the obsession if you're going to use this. It's right. It's written in the power. Like he has a uh, he has a big target, a bullseye on his back. He should be the obsession. So I know, hey, he might have metal the man, right? Yeah, that's first. Uh, that's first. Uh, that's an another problem. Uh, just uh, I think it is the same problem. Uh, the same problem which uh, had the old decisive strike, uh, which uh, uh, the killer doesn't know, uh, doesn't know uh, which survivor uh, uh, has uh, the perk or or, uh, or not, because now um, if you see uh, an obsession in the, in the match. Uh, um, he could have a metal man, but you can't uh, say anything about uh, the other three survivors. Mm -hmm. They uh, they can or uh, cannot have the uh, the uh, this perk. You you cannot uh, you cannot know uh, if they have or not. 
It's, okay, not, think, it's uh, not only that, but uh, they could also have object of obsession, and that has to, a really big chance to become uh, to make you the obsession. Yeah. Well, I also think that if they're going to have this, they need to. Well, first and foremost, it should only be a one-time thing. Like, I don't think you should be doing this repeatedly because that's crazy. Yeah. If the match even goes that long, you shouldn't be able to do it like two, three times the match. Just one time, that's it, bam. And if you're going to be able to, since everybody can use it, they need to have some limitation effect like the old Decisive Strike had. Yeah. Where is. if if you're not the one that's the obsession, you get like a nerfed version of it that either doesn't do the same thing or doesn't do anything at all. Yeah, and I'm looking in the in the perk builds for uh, for all of this, and I think that if you have to handle people with this with these perks, then I think uh, no one escapes that is going to be uh, important. Maybe it uh, it could be useful because uh, um, because with this perk. Uh, uh, and the game uh, will become a, a nightmare, uh, in my opinion. Well, that's why I think, like, uh, all, all the, uh, another perk which uh, could be useful, um, maybe um, uh, Blood Warden. Yeah, Blood mm -hmm. Warden makes your choice. Could be, could be usable. Make in, your uh, choice, I think. Well, that's why I think, like, with if this is going to be like the meta, you have to, you have to win the game before that, or it's not going to matter. Yep. Cause like you can, cause if you do like if you do blood warning, <laughs> blood warning, and no one escapes death. Worst case scenario, somebody kills your totem, so you have no more no one escapes death, and you just have blood warning, but you can't kill them anyway, so your blood warning isn't doing anything anymore now. It's so, it's it's not only that. The, the problem is, you must have ruin and you must have barbecue and chili. Well, barbecue and chili is not that important. But you need something that helps you keep rolling. And well, personally, I still like uh, <laughs> I still like the plagues um, generator ability. I can't remember the name of it right now. <laughs> yeah. But I like hers way better than Ruin because when I use that, I know for a fact that I'm getting two minutes where three generators are locked. Yep. Corrupt intervention. I, two minutes, they're locked. With uh, ruin, they it might last the whole game, or it might last two seconds. And every time I use ruin, game. it lasts two seconds. It depends on the killer. It depends on the killer. <laughs> I and know even for, with ruin, I know for with, yeah. even with ruin, right? When ruin is activated, I know how to play around it, and I know high level kills, not high level survivors, know how to play around it. So it doesn't even matter. Yep, that's true. It's. To be honest, it is a really. It is, I think instant down perks are needed, but here is the big problem: there are no early game perks for killers. There are no perks that help in the early game for the killer. Well, at this point, we at this point we'd we'd be playing to slow the uh, slow the game down. So, uh, like I would. I would take corrupt intervention because um, then there's there's only f if you if you make if you think about the game like all right well the game's gonna be done in two minutes right super high level survivors game is done in two minutes right so yeah if there's that's only five generators uh, I can't I can't do math right now hold on so <laughs> there's seven gens on the map if you lock three of them there's only four so they can only finish four generators they still have to fight you for the last one. Right. Oh, yeah, that's true. But, but in that time, you only have to patrol four generators. That's like depending on the map. That's not really anything, right? For two minutes, you only have to patrol four generators, and is... uh, su surveillance is is stupid good still. So even if you do patrol gens, you find one, kick it. So now you play this game for two whole minutes, where you can keep them off gens for two whole minutes. Yeah, but then again, uh, we don't do the point of the game, of our job, and our job is to kill. That is no, our entire job. And if and in the high games, they know how to loop you like crazy. Technically, our job is to delay the game. If yeah. you think about it. Yeah, but <laughs> then our name should be delayers, not killers. 
but that's what we are. Yeah. I didn't make the rules. I just know the game. We just, we literally because if you think about everything the killer does, it's literally just to make the survivors waste time. Yeah. If you hook somebody, it's not for them to die. It's because you want somebody to stop doing a generator to come save them. Our job is to be assholes. That that is yeah. our job. We are assholes. <laughs> you take hexes into the game, not to stop them, but to keep them from doing something that's not a generator. Yeah. Like it's it's literally just a hassle. If you kill somebody, you just um, it's like bonus if you kill somebody. So and it's stupid, but that's literally what the game is. We have there's no reason to kill anybody. So if you if you change the whole game like that, right? There's no reason for you to chase anybody. So you have more time to patrol gins, and be just be an asshole. Yeah, that is, it's it's kind of lame, especially with. Uh how the perks work, but like I said, there is nothing that helps with the early game. Because if you are dealing with uh, survivors that have, have Metal of Man, they, a, everything, they, the early game is important. If I think about it, you have to tell one guy immediately, you have to go to the next guy, etc, etc, etc. But with perks like that, they, I don't even think that they even know where they are going. With with the uh, with the game, it's no. it's li it's li I I literally don't understand it anymore. Like uh, this this is all that I'm getting out of it. Uh, you take hillbilly, <laughs> you take hillbilly with corrupt intervention and surveillance and whatever other perk two perks you want, and you just be an asshole for the first two minutes of the game. And if you don't get if you don't get a kill or two out of that, then you lost anyway, so it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. It's like that's that's it because everything else like it, it doesn't um there's a high chance of it not working i don't want to go in this being me being biased against uh hex ruin but you know i don't want to go into the game and then my hex ruin is gone or my uh no it is gone especially no it because it's important when you take it and then it's like once it's gone it's like well <laughs> yeah and the only yes, killer yes, can, uh, uh, you and uh, annoyed uh, yeah. uh, in uh, in too many games uh, um, uh, the uh, the suggestion is that uh, annoyed is useful only if you um, manage to uh, down someone as soon as possible after the uh, after it activates because uh, if you um, wait too too much. Uh, it uh, um, they uh, cleanse the totem. I uh, I I already tried this. Uh, so yeah, as as with every X uh, X totem, uh, you you need to use it as soon as possible. So yeah. and the only and the only killer that can protect its totems is the hack. <laughs> yep. Heck, and you oh, got man. you got trapper, but they can disable the traps, and uh, so. <laughs> and by the time that you are there uh, to uh, protect your toad, uh, it is, uh, it's already destroyed. Uh huh. And then sometimes, if you put those traps down, you might give it, give it away. So it's like, you know, yeah. it's a double-edged sword. You never you never know, because they might not ever see the totem. But then you're like, oh, why the fuck is this trap in this corner? Oh, there's a totem. I had a game as I had a game as Huntress, and the fucking survivor literally spawned next to my totem, <laughs> across of me. I saw I saw the survivor, I saw the survivor, I saw David King's ugly face, and he immediately <laughs> went for, towards my totem. Oh man! And then I and then I went there. I chased him away. I I shoved an axe up his ass. And one and one of his boyfriends uh, destroyed my totem. <laughs> and I was like, "This it, you all gonna die." <laughs> and it's as soon as the totem is gone, as soon as the totem is gone, especially in the port one like Ruin, the pressure is on. The stress comes, and you yeah. and you literally yeah. have to. And you literally have to go try hard because the believe it or not, having a hex rune it makes you feel uh, calm. 
it makes you feel calm because you know okay I got time I got time I got time I can do this I can do this and then all of a sudden boom yeah this explosion that the totem is destroyed and you are like time to kill <laughs> <laughs> because you're immediately in a panic and you're like, I need to kill now! <laughs> and you make mistakes. Because you get pressure. And that is yes, why... And, uh, especially if you are uh, using a killer um, power uh, needs uh, uh, attention. Um, for example, uh, if you are under pressure um, and you are using the nurse, uh, you... Uh, you start to uh, don't uh, blink correctly yep. uh, or if you are using the hillbilly uh, you uh, you mess you mess up with the chainsaw and uh, don't uh, eat the survival it, uh, it, uh, uh, it opened already to me and I don't forget Michael Myers he needs ruin it's 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 a must on him. He needs ruin. He needs that time to uh, build up. Michael Myers. I think that uh, any um, the all uh, all the killers uh, which uh, at the beginning of the match uh, needs to um, uh, charge uh, the, the power or uh, to set uh, the, uh, the traps uh, all needs uh, X ruin. The, th the thing with nurses, nurses can play without ruin. Nurse doesn't need ruin yes. so much. Yes. But the problem yes, because because the, because the nurse can uh, can uh, attack as soon as the match begins. Uh, yeah. She doesn't need to charge anything. But the, so uh, and, and so for the Billy, you uh, you can use your uh, chainsaw without uh, without the need to. Uh, to 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 set uh, traps or uh, uh, charge your your power. You are uh, you are or already um, you can already go uh, with your chainsaw. So yeah. they, uh, they 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 are the only killers which uh, uh, can uh, um, can uh, avoid uh, ex ruin. But uh, here comes the following that I also want to say is that. There are people like me. I use Rune and Nurse because I need, I need to warm up. I need to uh, get used to uh, the people that I'm playing against because I need to figure out how they play. And so that is how me. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not a great nurse. I'm gonna say it immediately. I'm not the best nurse, but I need uh, the warm up. I need the early game to get a bit going, to get used to it, and to get my uh, mojo going. And uh -huh. that's why I need I need uh, room. But as soon as room is gone, I get in the panic. I make mistakes. That doesn't mean that I don't become better later on. That I'm completely used to survivors. But then it will be harder for me to. Uh, but in the meantime, I will have made a lot of mistakes as a nurse. And that's why I use room to get uh, my mo to get uh, myself into the zone against the survivors, but for everyone it is different. Uh -huh. And that's all I can say. But I think I think we made everything clear. I think we made everything clear. I think the best thing to counter it is uh, with insta in is with insta kills. Killers to yeah, insta kill. Yeah. Uh those kinds of things. Maybe try to uh uh, hard patrol uh, survivors are when they are on the hook. Hard patrol. It's not camping. It's hard patrolling. So yep. just uh, and for uh, I'm going to say this to everyone that watches. this. Just put a survivor on a hook between the th between the gener three generators that you want to protect. Hook them there and let the survivors come to you. They have to come there anyway, and if they want those the generators, th th that's just the best way. Like uh, if you are in the in Halloween, in the if there is a basement there, put them in the basement and uh, put all your uh, your generators, your three generators, and keep an eye on your uh, basement. Or 
put them on the hook and uh, just r r run around. Because if you lose points, that doesn't matter. At, at this point, uh, if they get uh, built like uh, this uh, Metal of Man, then it's better just to uh, do a camping strategy like this because you don't want to go to that shit uh, that uh, that you cannot grab him because he will teabag you at the end of the game. He will. He will be teabagging you and he will be saying, "Yeah, you are baby killer, killerino, baby killerino." <laughs> that that is how it will end because you got fu you got fuckers that will imitate Ochido. Literally, this is the type of perk that Ochido would use. Mm -hmm. And if I say Ochido, then that is really bad. It's like summoning Satan. <laughs> it's and imagine if you are playing against people that play Claudette. Yeah, I'd rather not. Four times, four times Claudette survived with friends and with the Scissor Strike. Uh, Baron Time. Uh, Dead Heart, or whatever other shit you want to do. And then Matter of Man. Good luck finding them, good luck hitting them, and good luck downing them. For real. Yeah. Yes, that, w uh, that would be the, um, uh, the ultimate uh, nightmare. Yeah, uh, yeah. And then flashlights. I I can't imagine I imagine anything worse than this. Mhm. Mm and it's not only that. You have to use your best add-ons now. You need to use the add-ons that make sure that you can down a survivor as fast as possible. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. And most I think that uh, I I think that now uh, perks uh, which. Uh, um, uh, which uh, uh, applied the um, exposed status, uh, uh, I, I think will uh, will become very common uh, now. Yeah. And also, yeah. also uh, we will see a lot of uh, uh, memento mori, a lot, <laughs> really yeah. a lot. Yeah. Because uh, because that uh, is the only. Um, uh, re uh, re reliable uh, reliable way to. Uh, to counter this uh, stupid perk, pretty much. If you uh, yeah. only uh, put uh, put an ebony mori and uh, uh, forget about metal man. Yeah. You down a guy, mori him. Go to yeah. the next guy, mori him. Go to the next guy, yeah. mori him, yeah. and keep yeah. going. And yeah, and forget about uh, metal man. It's the only uh, the only uh, reliable way to to counter this uh, perk. They should just make Mori a part of the gameplay, not make it an offering, make it a gameplay. Like, uh, what they should do is, uh, if you are the obsession, the killer gets a free Mori. They should make it like that. That would that would really balance a lot of these uh, obsession perks. Make it an automatic Mori. Yeah. It could be an idea. Uh, maybe uh, um, for every uh, survive uh, which uh, uh, which uses uh, um, uh, metal man, uh, the killer can mori uh, uh, one survive. Yep, make it uh, at the cost of uh, you. You save your own life. It will go at the cost of someone else's life. So if you are the obsession, then the killer is allowed to mori. And he can and he can kill anyone on your team. And does ma it does not matter if they have been on the hook yes or no. He can just mori them. Make it a cost. Make it a cost of one life for your own life. I was like, that would just cause more disconnects. There is already so many disconnects, so I, I don't think that anyone would notice it if there are more disconnects or not. It, it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> survivors, uh, uh, survivors would, uh, it, you only have to sneeze at them and they will already disconnect. <laughs> and then and then you will report you and they could say, yeah, this killer went to my house and he raped my mother. <laughs> Apparently. Yeah. Or th those kinds of things. Th survivors, uh, survivors report you for anything. And it is, it, uh, we are completely off topic. 
We are completely out of top of coffee. I'm so angry right now and so frustrated that I don't even can talk properly. <laughs> <laughs> My English is failing. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, for, you know, I mean, I guess in summary from on my end on this whole thing, it, it's really pushing the narrative that the killers are not there to kill. Just like I said, they're there to waste, they're just there to waste time. So you have to, you have to find some other reason to play the game if you want to be a killer. Like you say, you only, you play for the blood points. Yeah. That's what I do because the rank doesn't matter. I can't rank up now anyway, because no matter what I do, I got, um, the other day, I literally got like, uh, like two. What's what's the red one? It can in iridescent, incandescent, whatever it is. Iridescent, yeah. Yeah, I got two red, two. I, I got two red, a gold, and a silver, and I got a safety pip. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> That's stupid. How? So unfair. I, I didn't even get one. Like what? How, bro? Like what are you doing? You feel fucked, eh? Then when I play Survivor, I got like, I got like a gold and three silvers, and I like, I got a pip. I'm like, like that's ridiculous. Like, how how much what? do you want killers to try hard? Like for real. Like if I kill people, I don't get anything. If I don't get people, I don't kill anything. I don't get anything. What am I supposed to do? Like I'm just gonna farm and get blood points now because there's no reason for me to play killer. I I can't win. There's no win condition for me ever. Let me say it like this, I have been in high rank, together with Falcon, Falcon is uh, always high rank, I think. Rank 1, I've been in rank 1 as Huntress and... Hey, till, uh, till, the pre uh, till the previous season, uh, yes, now it's, uh, uh, it's impossible to go uh, over uh, uh, rank, uh, rank 4 or 5. Yeah. It's impossible. But <laughs> like I said, because, uh... because for every for every good match that you do, uh, the 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 next uh, you lose the feet. So yeah. it's almost impossible to proceed uh, over rank four. But, uh, impossible. Uh, like yeah. I want to uh, say is, uh, I've I've been a few times rank one. I played multiple killers. I don't know what uh, Falcon plays, how many he plays, but I try to play every killer each. And I tried uh, Trapper at rank 1. Well, I got uh, molestated. Literally molestated at uh, high rank with Trapper. Because uh, they will uh, literally know where your, tra where your traps are and they will abuse any loop that they can to make it hard for you as Trapper to do your job. And uh, I tried uh, Bubba. Bubba can't do shit at all. And the thing is, I have no ruin, so this is without ruin, and, you, and with, with the ruin, it will be, will be even more frustrating, so I was b happy that the games were over. But then you had Huntress, and with Huntress, uh, you could do stuff, you could do stuff, but they know how to dodge your axes, so you can't not be skillful. And if you, and then only place, the only one that is over is the nurse. But the thing is, I don't want to play non-stop the nurse. That's not fun for me at all. I mean, I I find the nurse great. I I was she was the worst killer for me to play, and now she is one of my best killers. But the thing is, I don't want to play solely her at high ranks because why should I? I want to have fun. I. This game has yeah, 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 I agree. Uh, you, uh, uh, the game uh, becomes boring uh, then. Uh, um, I, um, I say, uh, we uh, have uh, uh, 15 killers or so or yeah. something. Uh, I don't, I don't remember uh, 15. exactly. 15. And uh, uh, I, uh, I would like uh, to use uh, all of them, or at least. Uh, uh, eighty uh, percent of of the killer. Uh, if instead uh, I uh, I am forced to uh, use only one or two killers, uh, then the game uh, becomes boring. Yeah, because let's say it, let me say it like this, Falcon, and maybe you agree. If you are if you live in an ice cream store, yeah. Let's say you have a shop with ice cream. Yeah? yeah, and you have like over uh, like 
hundred of flavors, like pitas, uh, stracciatella, vanilla, strawberry, chocolada, those kinds of taste of ice cream, you know? Why should yeah. I why should I why should I only eat vanilla if I can have chocolate, stracciatella, pitas, uh, walnut, apple, those kinds of flavors? Why should I only eat vanilla if I can have chocolate and such? I want I'm the type of person I want to taste everything. Yeah. And uh, so um, I think that uh, uh, there is no point uh, for the um, for the devs uh, to uh, continue uh, uh, putting new killers uh, uh, every every three months or uh, yeah because uh, you um, you continue to um, add uh, add new killers uh, which uh, are. Uh, are uh, strong enough uh, to be playable at uh, red ranks. So you add new contents, but don't uh, fix uh, the, uh, the the um, the huge amount of bugs that uh, we have in this uh, in this game. It's not only that. It's and uh, and uh, I I, st I still uh, um, say that uh, now. Uh, we don't need new killers. We and uh, of course we don't need uh, new cosmetics. Uh, stop! Uh, stop the doing cosmetics. Uh, this is getting ridiculous. Uh, now uh, we have to um, uh, to fix uh, uh, other uh, uh, other problems. Uh, we need to fix uh, uh, cra uh, crashes during uh, g uh, during match loading. Uh, we need to uh, balance uh, uh, more the the core of the game. We um, we need uh, a new uh, game uh, game modes. Um, some ga uh, some days ago, I was thinking uh, that uh, um, they um, could add a new mode to to Dead by Daylight, uh, which uh, ca can be the something. Uh, Maybe a, an hardcore uh, mode in which both uh, killers and uh, survivors uh, play without perks and add-on. Yeah, that uh, that could be a, an in, an interesting uh, mode. I I would play that uh, that mode. Mm. What I what I think needs to happen is, and this is the devs should stop being scared of making another hillbilly and nurse because they are trying to avoid nurse and hillbilly it's true they are avoiding them and that is a bad thing they don't understand that they need to add strong killers at this point also it's true they shouldn't add uh, they should not add any new killers but I think let them at least add first two killers that can perform well at high rank and then so that there are like four killers nurse he'll be the end two other killers and then try and fix and balance it but that you at least have a variation in the high ranks because high ranks yeah. need in yeah. the, the wind we don't uh, also um, uh, another another problem is that uh, they are trying to uh, fix uh, uh, things by uh, introducing new perks, but uh, this is uh, this is stupid. You can't uh, use a perk to balance a, a game. You can't at all. It's uh... I, I I I can't use perks to to uh, to to, uh, to change to fix the 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 core of of the game. It's because uh, the, the game, uh, I think that it should be uh, enjoyable, um, also uh, without perks. So try to um, uh, balance the, the game uh, in its uh, I don't know van vanilla version. It's uh, uh, it's a standard version. Uh, without perks, without uh, items, without add-ons, uh, and possibly without survive with friends. 
you know, I think um, then, then, uh, then uh, you can uh, uh, introduce uh, the perk you like. Uh, I, I don't care. But uh, the the core of the game uh, must be uh, balanced. Yeah, I think they. I think what they should do with the little the little file whisper motherfuckers and have them on a on a server like play X amount of games like there's there's no items there's no add-ons it's just killers and survivors well because if it's just a, it doesn't matter it's just killers and survivors no perks none of that crazy shit have them play X amount of games hey what's wrong with this game because like you were saying like the, the core is broken and they're not fucking fixing it they're like all right well this is not because they look at stuff and they go all right well the game is not fun when killers camp so what did they do they made it so you lose you don't you can't rank up when you camp you can't uh you know there's a lot of stuff that can't stops you from or deters you from camping right because yeah. camping is a quote unquote <laughs> problem right well why don't you look at the real problem with people that actually play the game because low level killers they can't because they don't know how to play the game so yep. if you take like if you take um data from like mid to like high level killers like all right well if you or the middle killers right because the high level killers don't really camp so mid level killers why do you camp well i fucking can't because i'm not about to chase this dude for five more minutes he gotta go the, yep. the chases are way too long and then you have these add-ons that make it so that the chases aren't even um, beneficial it's like so I just hooked you for no reason you have to commit yeah and it's like that's why we can't because if I could catch you fine if there's like a maybe a, a minute chase to be fair if, the, if a chase is a whole minute 45 seconds okay whatever you know I, could, I still have time to do other stuff but it's like, you know, five minutes I can't catch you and it's not entirely because you're just good at what you're doing. It's just the game design. I can't catch you, which doesn't make any fucking sense. But that's why I do it because I'm not about to chase you for 20 minutes again while all your gens get done. That's it, stupid. That's totally true. That's totally true because that is... you uh, Chasing is a commitment. You have to chase. You either chase or you don't chase. It's a commitment. If you don't... You either choose to don't not do it or you do do it the problem is there are too many punishments for it also you get yeah, and even and even when you do chase people go well tunneling tu quote unquote tunneling is a problem okay it's the same the same route like if i'm if i chase you the first time like if if i'm if i'm chasing you kill lane and then um yeah i hook you and then falcon saves you why would I chase Falcon if you're already hurt? Yeah. <laughs> and I have to hook you two more times anyway to kill you. To be honest, Nevermore, if I if I may say so in my perspective as, as a killer, you know, I hook you and I see Falcon, I would hit Falcon first. And if a Falcon unhooks you, I would chase the one that is the closest to me. If you are the cl one closest to me, I will go after you. Then you get shit then you're shit out of luck but if Falcon is close to me I will focus Falcon right and that's something that I'm starting to do now but that's the difference remember yeah normally normally you're a higher way higher to level than me I'm like you know in the middle like 15 9 something like that yeah so I, you know the game is different for me because like hey I'm not gonna chase a new guy I'm just I want to kill that guy over there because I already did the work yeah, <laughs> the only time that I will focus the guy that is taken off the hook or the that is the farthest away from me is, is if he's the hardest. So if right. yeah, if one guy is a good looper and they save him and his friend is trying to body block me, I will try and avoid his friend and try and hit him because he is the difficult one and I don't want him to get healed up and do all the shit again that he did before. And then I will. And by and body blocking is another problem that needs to that needs to go. Like I shouldn't have to deal with that. I hate that shit. I would say uh, if they have t body blocking should only affect certain type of killers. To be honest, like small killers like Legion and Freddy, they are small. Then body blocking should work for them. Let me say it like this. But if you got a um, a big killer like Huntress, who's muscular as hell, she's she ha she has really muscles and such. She should be able to push people aside. 
Same, I, it, same as this. It should be some type of punishment for you standing directly in front of me. Like, yeah. again, like, give me, like, you're not afraid of the killer because you're just going to go crouch right in front of them while they're carrying somebody. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> if you do it by killers like Nurse, who is small, small and not so uh, strong, then okay, you can you can body block, her, uh, body block her, it's okay. But if you do it by a killer like Trapper, who is literally a beast, if you look at him, how rip he is, he, he, it should be dangerous to body block a character like that. I think I think that that is a system that they should add that it makes. Oh, is there a trapper? You're gonna body block trapper? Okay, you can do it. But if he down, he but he can insta down you while he's carrying someone. <laughs> yeah, like give me give me something. Like there's no no type of balance anywhere. It's this game is pretty much balanced around how much fun the survivors are having and like yeah. I said before if you want to do that that's fine but make the killer AI so I don't have to deal with this because yeah. they might as well yeah. just be AI I mean what is our job right now are we uh, some kind of rodeo clown or a bull in a uh, Spanish uh, bullfighting coliseum or something it's I don't understand it lately anymore and the survivors already rage quit yeah, like my friends, a bunch of my friends just got into the game and they're like asking stuff about it and they're like, I, I, I think I told you about this before, every time somebody, like, hey, well, how do, how do killers win? Like, I don't know what to tell them because they don't, <laughs> they just don't, I don't know. It's always a lose because they, they will either, they will either report you, even if you play fair or not, it's, it's still a lose. I, I just feel like no matter what you do, the entity the entity is displeased. <laughs> yeah. Or or the entity is pleased, but you can't rank up. Like I don't I don't know how to win in this a, game. Anymore. A friend of mine, a friend <laughs> of mine who also watches uh, all my videos. He said friendly. He said uh, to me, "Kill me." I said, "Yeah." He said, uh, "You know what I noticed?" I said, "No." What do you know? He said. There are not many friendly survivors in that game who are to who talk to you nice, and if they talk to you, then it is rare. It's like, uh, he said, it is like uh, finding a shiny Pokemon. <laughs> I said, yes, that's correct, he said. And then you also, c and the thing is, it's a competitive game also. If you get pissed off, then then you will do also trash talk uh, to the survivors, and then they are with four and you are alone, then you will have already more reports on your ass just for being the killer. Uh -huh. And there is no redemption system also. I would like <laughs> to see a redemption system so that you can get a clean slate again. But I'm telling you man, the, the day I ever get banned from this game, it's gonna be a big problem. <laughs> yeah. Like, bro, I didn't put all this money into this game and all this time for you to ban me because some salty survivor yeah. just wants to Get under your skin. Me. Get under your skin and you start yeah, to... Yeah, exactly. Because they, then, the environment is toxic. It is. It's very. And then, like, they don't do anything. Like, all these people that disconnect, like, I'm still playing all these disconnect. Why? Like, do something about this. Like, do something about the people when I actually report them for being just just toxic like do something about it so I don't add, have to play with them yeah add a redemption system it gives people a reason to try and get a clean slate that punishes them for uh, getting and uh, for becoming angry because in the on the end of the day the more stress that you put on someone that is also the reason why a lot of killers start the killer players getting banned because they get pressure on them and they get multiple games that are like that and that they will ask more of them. And yes, they will explode. But yeah, then they will also get banned. Yeah, that's why I laugh when I go on Twitter and, and I go to Dead by Daylight hashtag and they're like, the queues are too long, the queues are too long. That's because there's no killers. Yeah. <laughs> you report, you report them for everything. So if I were friends libraries are too long, because there's no killers. Yeah. <laughs> Killer, uh, being a killer is like you're literally a masochist. <laughs> For real, like, and then it's it's like you know there there's no there's no type of unity at all in this community. You would think that like for every four killers, you need one survivor. 
Yeah. So you would think you would want them to want to play the game. So yeah. you would be all types of irrational when we ask for stuff that I don't think it's you know, some people ask for way too much, yes, but when you the average person that actually plays this game says, Hey, maybe this should be different, maybe you shouldn't jump all over us about it. To be honest, I would I would like to play this uh, this game with uh, friends of mine. I'm gonna be honest, I would like to do that. But the problem is, I know I know some of my friends, and I know that they will get pissed off with a lot of stuff, especially if they, if they don't understand the difficulties, what are what it is. Because I, I because I said yeah, it would be fun if we do that. But I also know immediately, like uh, I know one guy, he would immediately yell. Uh, if you tell him uh, no, it is not. He would immediately yell, uh, "Oh, the Legion, the Legion killer is so fucking overpowered! I can't play. He ruins ev- that killer ruins everything. They need to nerf him. That's just the type of guy that it is." And then I can say, "No, it's not." And then, or he would say, "The nurse needs to be ner- needs to be nerfed. She is way too strong. It is so unfair. I can't escape." And then you need to try and understand, uh, ex- then I have to explain to him why it would be a bad idea to nerf, to nerf the nurse. Because if she gets nerfed, then we have nothing anymore to look forward to, to have fun with. <laughs> because she's the only one that actually gives a real challenge. And if she gets nerfed, then the game is officially dead. Uh-huh. If the nurse gets nerfed, the game will be dead. Because then there is no... Well, if you are religious, I don't know who of you guys are religious, who have a religion, but let me say it like this. If the nurse is getting nerfed in that bedela, that bedela will die, and it will, and it will prove that there is no God. Because yeah. later... Play- at, at, least, at least they will stop playing the Dead by Daylight if they... If they nerf the, the nurse. Because C, For sure. C is the killer that keeps the game alive. Like, literally. If C is not there, then the game will die. I'm already on the borderline of just not playing it ever again. It's just not fun. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and, and the good thing is we have the nurse still. We can still play with the nurse. But if C gets nerfed, who else do we have to have fun with? Because then we have nothing that we can use to counter. We will never be able to get into the high ranks. The survivors will, and old survivors of D rank, will start to bully the low level uh, killers. We can't do anything. It's, it's so bad. It's so bad. The survivors are already uh, D rank. I'm not. I'm not D rank. I'm just stopping for a while, because I refuse to go higher. Then, uh, then the, I don't want to go into the red ranks. It's it's too hard for me. It's at Astomats. It Astomats. I'm gonna say this. People don't see it, but even if I have one game where that is really hard, I Falcon uh, saw a lot of my videos, especially hard videos where I was being looped as the nurse. Believe it or not, after those rounds, I really take an hour break in between. And then I then I start recording again because it's so hard and it's asked so much and I literally get a headache. Uh-huh. I mean, I don't mind teaching people. I, I teach I teach you never more how to play certain killer. I gave you advice with perks and such. I even gave Falcon some uh, ideas about uh, certain perk builds. And he gives and he gives me ideas, but on the end of the day it's so it's sometimes so hard that you that I literally get a headache and that I'm just sitting that I just stop for a while and I'm like fuck this shit I'm gonna take a break <laughs> and that is why I couldn't make a recording for like 10 hours 10 hours recording how many games is that 10 hours I couldn't, a lot. yeah I'm gonna record <laughs> that and those are the games that I uh, mostly upload because I cannot handle so much because after so many hours you start to rage. You start to say, Oh go fuck yourself, you stupid piece of shit. <laughs> go shove your borrowed time up your ass, you fucking decide to strike baby. You start to do you start to talk like this, you start to talk toxic because you are frustrated and it becomes too much for you. 
and that is and I'm not in the mood to get banned at all because those are the kind of things that get you banned in the end so mm -hmm. so I don't see a point then I don't see a point to be like I'm gonna do it like this done and I'm and I take a few till my foot is, uh, is gone then I will uh, play again for a few days and then I will have fun also because I'm not I'm not under stress but and that is the entire game and I know that with the uh, I know that with these perks that is coming with the uh, matter of men so I know I know it will be even harder so oh no all I can say is I, I think all I can say is it's not gonna be fun it's not gonna be fun for uh, being a killer in the future Except if, they, except if they add something really important, like uh, closing the hats, or they remove the hats, or give us some type of gameplay to affect the hats, but they don't. So yeah, can't even do that because I'm not in the mood to sit there for 50 minutes waiting for the survivor to decide if the if the jumps in yes or no. It's like maybe they should make uh, kicking generators stronger. Yeah, or like because. The thing that I don't like about the game is stuff like, okay, so the survivors can stop me from hooking completely, but I can't do anything to stop them from working on generators. Yeah, they even, they even already wait for more than 20 minutes at the exit gate. Yep. I mean, seriously, if I have, let's say I want to do a quick game. Let's say I want to do a quick game and I have to go uh, like uh, to my girlfriend, for example. I, I don't have a girlfriend at the moment, but for example, you have a girlfriend. Eh? And those mm. and instead of those fuckers leave, they stay at the exit gate. And then, I, then I'm like, oh man, please hurry up! I need, I need, I need to go. I need to go. I need, to, I need to meet her parents or something. Eh? Then they, then they would just literally wait there, jerking off, jerking off, teabagging, whatever those survivors do. And you have to decide should I disconnect yes or no? Should I disconnect yes or no? Because I'm not gonna leave I'm not gonna leave the house with a with my PC running. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Then then either I have to choose by disconnecting or not. And that is also a problem. There is no punishment for staying by the exit gate too long. Nope. And that would be really good if you are in the exit gate or something, or you have so many minutes, you have so many seconds to leave the game. Get, make it timed. You open the gates, you get so many minutes to leave. If you by that time have not left, you are being uh, blocked and you are exposed. And you can never escape again, not even the heads will open. Make it something like that. But I think, guys, uh, I gonna, uh, I think we're gonna end this. We're gonna end this uh, discussion. We already have. Uh, how to say? We already went a bit too off topic. We made a point about everything about what is wrong with the game. <laughs> Let's be honest. Well, I, I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be a fog whisperer. So fuck it. Might as well talk about why I actually broke it. Yeah, me either. <laughs> I would like, I would like to be, because then I would be able, then I would be able to, to uh, literally spit the truth at them in the face. <laughs> but I heard in Canada that uh, I heard in Canada, and so it's a bit of an uh, insult if you tell them the truth, because I will literally tell Matthew Coat that he should get his head out of his fucking ass. I start to think uh, more uh, in the way that it should be, because they are making too many mistakes. But anyway, I will say this. For anyone to watch this, the game is out balance. They added a lot of stupid shit. Metal of Man is going to be the new meta. It's going to be a meta perk. If you like to be killer, go hillbilly. Get, ex get uh, exposed perks. If needed, camp. 
about hard patrol. It's not camping, it's hard patrolling. It's only camping when the survivors are there. To try and save them. Then it is camping. So long you patrol, it's not camping. All I can say is it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a bit rough to the next killer. Hopefully they do something uh, that will fix the game for a bit, but I doubt it. Anyway, this was Falcon FX and Nevermore. And I am Kim K. I'm gonna say adios, arrivederci, sayonara, and see you on next see you on next time. Kim K out. Bye. Bye. Thanks. <laughs>